Hey everybody, today we're going to be installing Windows 10 on this new computer. So the first thing you want to do is uh, take your USB flash drive that has Windows on it, um, unless you buy a disk. But you want to make sure you change the boot order. You see I just switched that USB as far left as it would go and it ended up right there. And then you want to restart and it'll boot from the USB drive. Now, you want to download Windows directly from Microsoft's website. You can download it for free, no problem. You just have to have your own product key, which you can get from KingUN, K-I-N-G-U-I-N, um, for about 20 bucks, a valid, genuine product key. So then you'll use a Windows 7 USB tool, which you can, again, download directly from Microsoft's website. And that tool will automatically put your ISO Windows image on that flash drive. So now you can see that the computer is loading the Windows files from the flash drive. And this is uh, the very next thing that will come up. Now I'm going to be going through all the steps through this. I'm not going to skip anything. So um, I am going to speed, speed it up a little bit because it takes about 20 to 25 minutes with an SSD instead of a regular hard drive. So setup is getting started. I'm obviously going to skip this <laughs> this portion and we are going to install Windows 10 Pro. Except the stinking Microsoft terms. And I always go to custom install that way we can set up see that both the hard drives are unallocated right now. So we need to format and allocate our SSD drive, which is the 111.8 gig drive. It's a 120 gig drive, but, um, you know, the drives always show up a little bit less than what they advertise. So we're just going to let Windows do its thing to the drive, and it does it automatically and makes it real simple. So the system reserved about half a gig. Um, which is fine. And then you'll just install Windows using that primary 111 gig partition, which is the SSD drive. And uh, this is the part that's sped up. Right now it's at, I think, eight times speed. And uh, I do cut it, cut it out a little bit in the middle because, you know, who wants to sit through all this kind of stuff. You'll notice the mouse isn't moving on the screen because I just let it do its thing and walk off. It'll automatically reboot itself and all that. Okay, so this time um, I've went back into the BIOS and I'm going to drag our King Kingston SSD drive ahead of the USB drive and boot order. That way it will now boot from the SSD. Our Windows files have already been transferred to the SSD, so um, we shouldn't need our USB flash drive anymore for the installation. So I skip a little bit in this part right here because it, it sits on this screen about, I'd say, a minute and a half. And I just went ahead and skipped it. It, res it restarted itself. Okay, now right here you want to go into Customize Settings. Now here I'm going to turn off all of the Windows privacy stuff that, that people have a problem with. You know, I'm sure you've heard, you know, Microsoft is, is you know, taking your personal information and, and all that kind of privacy stuff. Well, you can turn most all of that off right here. There are still a few things that will report to Microsoft no matter what. But for the most part, you can turn all that crap off right here when you first install Windows 10. Now, see, right here they get kind of tricky. you got to make sure and scroll down to see the option to turn that stuff off. So doing that will also disable Cortana or Cortana um, 
which is not a big deal for me. I played around with it a little bit when I first installed Windows 10, and she really doesn't help me a whole lot, so I go ahead and turn all that stuff off so that my information is not being sent to Microsoft. And I just set up a user account with no password so that the uh, new owner of the computer will have no problems. <clears throat> and Windows 10 is setting things up for me apparently. It says this won't take long and depending on your hardware it either will or it won't. If you have an older computer it'll take a while. Um, on this build it really I mean you're about to see it change in just a second. Yeah, see that didn't take long at all. Now that wasn't cut. And there we are at our Windows desktop. And the very first thing I'm going to do, I believe, on here is change the uh, resolution of the screen because it's like on 720p or, you know, 1280 by 720 or something like that. And I don't like the way the large icons and stuff like that look. So I just go in and um, change our... Uh, resolution there turn it all the way up that's as high as my monitor will go is 1080p so and there's a more familiar look for me and you can see when I first this is a totally clean copy of Windows there's no added you know applications or software the only thing on the desktop is the recycling bin and there I'm looking to make sure it's recognizing my video card. I have not installed the drivers yet, so it won't be optimized, but you can tell if there's a problem or something by looking at the hardware manager. And then I'm going to go ahead and restart the computer and uh, see how fast it boots to the desktop. Now, I used a utility a little bit later on and that'll be in a separate video um, but it shows the boot time of your last boot and uh, after optimizing the system I was able to get the boot time from the time you know you hit the bio screen right there until you were landed on the desktop ready to to use the computer was 24 seconds so that's a that's quite an improvement over a standard hard drive so we're about finished with this video. <clears throat> Windows 10 is installed. Um, obviously, we're going to go through and uh, do all of our updates, which there's probably a lot of them, um, including the, uh, the fall update, which was a big one. But there's the video on Windows 10 installation. Thanks for watching.